today we're going to read a Dr. Seuss book about the weather. And then we have a little activity of what we're going to do, okay? All right, so this book is called Oh Say, Can You Say, What's the Weather Today? By, it is all about weather by Tish Rave, illustrated by Artisides. So let me see. Yeah, I'll say this All right. I'm the cat in the hat, and it's raining, I know. But let's not stay inside. We got places to go. Where the sunshine is shining, where warm winds are blowing, where lightning is flashing, where snowflakes are snowing. The weather is changing. Come on, let's get going. Like, it is the top of Mount Kakaruku, where they study the weather. That's all that they do. Watching the weather helps everyone know what to wear, where to live, and what food they can grow. Pilots check weather when they fly a plane. Are they flying in sunshine or clouds filled with rain? So what is one way they say we can check for weather? What is one way um, we, we can use weather to do what? Check for what, Maya? Um, like, like, um, like, 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 okay, so if, like they said, with the pilot, if it was harsh weather or really bad weather, the planes, the, the pilots, they could turn the plane around if the weather was bad, okay? So they can look at the weather to see if the weather would be bad. What's another thing they can determine with, by looking at the weather? What else did it say, um, Jenna? It can tell you what to wear. Okay, so it can tell you what to wear. Maybe it might be cold outside that day, so maybe I need to wear a sweater, or maybe it may be rainy. I might need to ha grab my umbrella, all right? All right, anyone else? Last one, um, Julian. I'll go Oh, go ahead. Yes, Evelyn. What to grow. Okay, and what to grow. So based on the weather, it can help farmers or you have people to determine what to grow or how to grow their farm for that day. Yes, Maya. And I was talking about what Jenna put around. I was talking about the, the wind and like set out and Oh, you're talking about it'll turn the actual plane around. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it also can determine if they should be flying or not. <laughs> um, Julie, I have to get in just a minute. Come sit down. All right, meteorologists forecast the weather and say what kind of weather is heading our way. You guys remember that word meteorologist? Yes. yes. So what, who remembers what meteorologist means? Three. They study the weather. They study the weather. So just like have you ever watched the news and the people come on the um, on the news channel and they tell you, oh, today is going to be sunny today. Today may be 80 degrees today. That's a meteorologist. They had to study the weather. All right. Here all right, they send weather balloons floating high in the air to measure how hot or cold it is there. Air temperature affects weather a lot. Thermometers show if it's cold or if it's hot. So there's our thermometer. It tells if it's cold or if it's hot. Wind changes weather and we can see why. It blows clouds along and clears rain from the sky. And e meters measure how fast the wind goes. A wind vane will show you which way the wind blows. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just reading how I broke it up here. So I made a uh, broke the word up, but in the book, that's how it wanted me to read to break it up. That's why I read it like that. But it is anometer. Yes, Maya. You made that in school. You made that in school? Oh, yeah, you guys did make that in with the little, mm -hmm. um, your cups and the pencil and it rolled around. Cool. All right. On this map of the weather, Carter, please don't put that in. Put that in. I don't want to see that again. 
On this map of the weather, you're seeing it showing it's sunny and gray. But in Google, it's snowy. A strong wind is blowing, the snow right toward great. Tomorrow the weather in great will be wet. So those were just the little places they have. And they on the map, you could tell the different weather for that day. Whether it's gonna be wet or whether it's going to be sunny that day. When clouds form a ring and it cycles the moon, sailors know this ring means there's a storm coming soon. A pine cone can forecast the weather. Here's why. It's closed when it's wet and open when it's dry. Did you guys know that? No. I guess y'all didn't know that either, so that's pretty cool. Here is a fact that we cannot explain. Frogs croak a lot more when it's going to rain. I love how my students in the front row are sitting quietly and they're not yelling out. There are all kinds of clouds you can see in the sky. Cyrus are light, wispy clouds floating by. Columbium bus, Columbia's bus oh, clouds mean there's a storm on the way. You see Columbus clouds on a warm, sunny day. So here yeah, they're showing the different kinds of clouds in this dark cloud is that Cyrus and that Columbus cumulus, too. Sorry, it's cumulus cloud right there. When a cloud touches down on the ground, it's called fog. If it mixes with smoke, then the fog becomes smog. A fun way to learn a cloud shape is to draw it. We said that's a Cyrus the minute we saw it. If you look inside any cloud, you will see water droplets that bounce all around happily. If the droplets get close, they will soon join together, get heavy, and fall. Then we're in for wet weather. They fall to the ground, then the sun's energy turns them to water vapor, which we cannot see. Water vapor floats up, forms a new cloud, and then rain falls from the cloud to the ground once again. So we call that the water cycle, the water droplets. How it forms, it goes around. Yes, Emily. Um, like, um, one time when I was, um, like, looking at a pine cone, it was closed, so that's how you could tell when it was going to rain, because the pine cone was closed. Oh, you actually saw that? Oh, cool. Yes, very good. I found a nice rock in the Utah. The water from a valley came to the cloud, and then the cloud started running away from the pool. Oh, it started running away from what? The who? The pool. Oh, the pool? Oh, okay. All right, here are some words that we learned on vacation. Rain, snow, sleet, and hail are called precipitation. You guys remember that word precipitation when we were taking <coughs> um, the weather for the week, checking the weather for the week, and I said, what's the precipitation for that day? So we decided, was it raining? We decided, was it snowing? Was it, we decided, did it, um, did it have uh, sleet or hail that day? That is called our precipitation. <coughs> Bless you. Water change into vapor is called evaporation. So when the water evaporates, when you kind of like don't see it anymore, it's called evaporation. It's evaporating. When it's leaving, you notice, notice how um, if it rains, you may see a puddle, but then the next day, or if even later on that day, if it stopped raining, you don't see it no more, it evaporated. That's when um, it kind of went away. You'd be like, oh, what happened to that puddle that was here earlier? It's evaporated. Vapor change into water is called condensation. So when you have, um, notice on the window sometimes, if you ever look out your window and you may have like little droplets on your window sometimes, yeah. or in the morning when you get in your car, you may have those little droplets on the window and you're asking yourself if it rained, but it kind of didn't rain. It's just that vapor coming in from um, the weather and it's turning into, turning into condensation. So it may not have rained that day, 
but you may see water droplets or little droplets of water on your window when you get in the car in the morning if you ride the car or even on the bus if you ride the bus in the morning you may see that on your window yes I also Oh, where did you see that? Um, it was like, it was like a little water down on the house. Oh, it was on your house? It was coming, um, and the dropped it coming down there. Okay, they can still use transportation too. All right, who invented umbrellas? Well, we don't know who, but umbrellas were first made in China. It's true. Out of colorful paper and wood called bamboo. Thousands of years ago, ago they were first made so out in the sun folks could walk in the shade when it rained they put wax on paper here's why rain rolled off the wax which kept folks nice and dry I Um, yes, Maya. Can I umbrella? Um, when it was raining, when I saw my umbrella, I put it up in the house, but I saw there was like, there was like little wicks in it. Oh, just staring up. All right, Ali, I need you to turn your face this way. All right, when air is warmer than freezing, I like to explain, water falls from the clouds and it falls down as rain. Reach us in your office. When air is freezing cold, it's important to know water falls from the clouds, but it falls down as snow. The desert is dry, and the reason is clear. Its rainfall is less than 10 inches a year. Are you? Are you? Let breeze blows, let breezes blow through, and light colors bounce. The sun rays off of you. Where on earth is it coldest? Meteorologists say Antarctica is freezing cold every day. Land covered in ice and deep drifting snow. The air is so cold that plants cannot grow. So it's freezing in Arthur all the time. It's always snow. Yes. When I seen the video movie of the cat in the hat, and, mm -hmm. and the cat in the hat looks look so different. Okay, yeah. and, oh, the, and so and um, the person was eating so much. Because he's allergic to cats. Yeah. I saw that movie too. Yes, Aya. So on the uh, wait on the real movie of the hat in the cat, the kids were screaming because of the hat in the cat. And the grandma was alerted to me, so. Uh, oh, I have other friends. I love how Nazarene is listening to Aiden as he speaks, because he raised his hand. Uh, so we should be giving him the respect. So yeah. they were riding on the grandma, mm -hmm. and the hat and the cat were immediately putting these, like, funny stuff. And then once they went um, back in the house, trouble came. So and the hat and the cat, the, a pinata looked like him, so he broke the pinata, and then he acted like the pinata, and then they came. Oh, cool. All right, you guys, let's save our cat in the hat stories. I know we got some of you guys may watch the movie before, so let's kind of save that. If it's not about the weather, let's kind of save our stories for a little later, okay? In a tropical jungle, it's hot and it's wet. If you go there to visit, you soon start to sweat. The weather is humid, which makes you feel icky. The air is full of water. That's why you feel sticky. So you you never notice how after it rains sometimes, um, it may feel a little moist outside. It may feel a little humid. It might get a little sticky or a little hot outside a little bit, but it's not quite, the sun is not quite out and it's not raining, but it just feels wet and icky in, inside. Yes, Maya. Was it raining yesterday? Um, I don't know if it was raining yesterday. Was it loud? 
In a thunderstorm first, you will see lightning flash. Next, you'll hear thunder go bumble and crash. To find out how far thunderstorms are from you, try this easy trick. It's a fun thing to do. Start counting when you see a lightning bolt flash. Stop counting when you hear the next thunder crash. Take that number, divide it by five. When you do, that's the number of miles the storm is from you. Thunder won't hurt you, but lightning could. So here are a few things we would like you to know. Stay inside your car if there's a lightning around. If lightning's around, it flows over your car and down into the ground. It can very much hit you if you hit a tree, it can strike your car, it can That's hit like you. Like drums, trees, they get hit by lightning, like, like it's like lightning, it's like a tree. But still, like a big crack. Mine, come stand over here, come sit over here, please. Oh, no, 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 no. If strong winds are blowing with hard driving rain, you may be in the middle of a hurricane. Winds, bl winds blow in a cycle both night and day, knocking lights, Knocking lots of things down that get in your way. Hurricanes blow things down, but I learned from, from thing two, tornadoes blow harder than hurricanes do. A tornado picks up everything it goes by, like a huge vacuum cleaner way up in the sky. So a tornado Anybody ever been in a real tornado before? No. You, Allie, you been in a real tornado? Oh, what happened? You want to share? Did you see it coming or? When I was in my um, cousin's house, mm -hmm. um, we know the tornado, Tornado, it was a tornado coming and then they lost their puppy in the tornado. Oh, so you can lose a lot of things just like how it's picking up the house. The tornado is so strong, it can pick up your house. And the puppy died. I'm so sorry to hear that. Anybody else experienced or seen a, a tornado before? Sorry, you seen a tornado before? What happened? Can you tell me about it? Finally, I got here. Mm hmm. And it come around. Oh, that's a very scary thing to see. All right, you guys, I'm going to move on. It spins like a top, twirling round and round, pulling trees, cars, and houses right off the ground. Wait, is this like oh, we're not going to yell out. It's important to study the weather, it's true, but we cannot control whatever we do. The sun may be shining. The sky in bright blue, then suddenly rain will start falling on you. Or the sky may be filled with dark storm clouds, then the sun will break through and shine down once again. You see, weather keeps changing, but one thing we know, it makes life exciting wherever we go. So it can be um, sunny right now, but by the afternoon, it may be rainy. It changes all the time. Yes, everyone. Yes. Mm -hmm. But like if you have, if you hang on to the door, then y'all like the door might slide off and it'll go with it. Yeah, that's possible. Yes, that's last one. One time, um, my mom told me that there was going to be a tornado coming, but uh, but um, um, but. Yep, sometimes it could be coming our way, but sometimes it may change its direction and go somewhere else. All right, you guys, I love that you guys are sharing your stories with us, but we do have to move on. So thank you guys for sharing um, your stories. All right, so I want, if you sit at table one, to go ahead and go back to your seat quietly. So here we have a little activity that we're going to do. So we just read our little Dr. Seuss book all about the weather, right? And you remember in the beginning we talked about um, how we can look at the weather and it can tell us different things. Just like um, 
one friend mentioned that, oh, pilots can look at the weather to determine if they fly that day. Or just like Jenna mentioned, um, we can look at the weather to determine what we're going to wear today. So I'm glad she brought that up because we're actually going to be talking about what we need to be wearing on a um, trip that we're going to take. So we're going to pretend like we're taking a trip to Disney World. Has anybody ever been to Disney World? Yes, I did this first time. Oh, I love my friends who are just raising their hand and not shouting out. Okay, so put your hands down. Miss Johnson has been to Disney World too. All right, so Disney World, for some of us who may not know, it's this big, amazing amusement park um, filled with different characters from Disney. So like Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, <laughs> Daisy, Donald Duck, all your characters that you see on Disney from the different movies, the princess and stuff. And they just have this big amusement park that you go and have fun. So on our papers today, we're gonna be acting like we're taking a trip to Disney, okay? But before we go, we got to pack our stuff up, right? We got to pack some things that we need to take on a trip. We can't just go on a trip and not have anything. All right, so on our paper, it's showing us, since we're talking about the weather, it's telling us the forecast of that weather that day. So the forecast meaning, what's the weather going to be like? Just like when you watch the news, they tell you what's the weather going to be like for the week. This is the same thing. It's telling you what the weather is going to be like when you go on that trip. So we have to pack um, and be prepared for the weather, okay? So for example, let's look at our chart here. Everyone look at that chart. Everyone look at Monday. Everyone look at Monday on that chart. Put your finger on Monday on your graph. All right, I want us to remember before we get into it, our target, our learning target for today, okay? Our learning target means or um, is that I can analyze data or interpret interpret data from a graph, okay? Analyzing meaning, I can look at the graph and tell what um, what is on the graph, what is the graph saying, and then I can interpret. I can make an um, interpretation about what the graph is saying. So we can interpret or interpret it. Oh, that's a hard word to say. What um, what we gonna wear based on the weather for that day? Okay. All right. So everyone wants to go ahead and have their hand, their finger on Monday. Let's look. All right. So on Monday, I see that it says that it's sunny. It's sunny and it's warm. Okay. So remember, I'm trying to find clothes or pack things that um, can help me be prepared for the weather. Okay. So, in a few, you're going to discuss with your group of things based on the graph that you see. You're going to be discussing the things that you will pack for your trip based on the weather for the day. All right? So, I will do the first one. And I will just write what I'm going to be wearing on my trip. So, on Monday, we see that it's sunny and warm. So, if I'm thinking it's going to be sunny and warm, hmm, Miss Johnson may wear maybe a dress. Or I could possibly wear shorts and a t-shirt, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and draw out, just to have my chart here, what I'm going to wear for the day. So I said I'm going to wear a t-shirt. I can either wear a t-shirt, just to give myself some options. And then I can wear some shorts. Or I can wear a dress that day. Because it said it's going to be sunny and warm, right? So I wouldn't wear, would I wear a coat that day? Do I need to wear a coat that day? No. No, because it's going to be sunny and hot and warm. So I don't think I want to wear a coat that day and be all hot, right? All right, so then let's look at Tuesday. Let's look at Tuesday. Tuesday say it's going to be what? Rainy and warm. Tuesday says it's going to be rainy and warm. So turn and talk to your table. Somebody, you can um, move your chair to somebody at the table. You can actually pull your chair up close to the back table. So turn and talk to the people at your table. You don't have to get up. Julie, you don't have to get up. Okay. You can just turn and talk to the people at the table. Okay. Tell them what you would wear on this rainy day. What can you pack in your bag for this rainy day? Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. I know what I'm going to wear. Wait, no. Maya, Maya, you're talking to us too. 
so you're talking to your whole table so you guys can share. Okay, you pack your shirt in a coat. You're going to wear your jacket. And then you pack your umbrella. Okay. All right. What did you, what did you say you might pack? I Okay, so you might have a raincoat and an umbrella. Don't forget your pants. Can I wear a tie? That's what you want to pack. Yes. Uh, yeah, we're on Tuesday. Uh, wait, I have to wear like everything. Like coat and like okay. <laughs> umbrella. What? And like I'm going to try to Okay, so you wear your umbrella and your coat. All right. Class, class. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, we have shared what we might bring or what we wear. I heard some good things. Some of us said we'll bring our coats. Some of us said we'll bring our jackets. Um, some of us said we'll bring our pants. Can't forget our pants. Some of us said we'll bring our umbrella. Okay, so these are things that we might pack or things that we might wear during the rain. So I'll go ahead and add that. So we said we'll pack our umbrella. I love how my table one is sitting quietly, even though I got my back turned. We'll pack an umbrella. We'll pack our raincoat, because it might rain. Anybody will pack the rain boots? What about oh, rain boots? I said that. I said oh, that. I have rain boots. I have rain boots. I do. All right, so I'll pack my rain boots. All right, so. So we're going to, so I just uh, explained to you guys what I will wear for Monday and Tuesday, some things that we're packed. So, so far we got these things already packed up, okay? Um, but let's just take a look. You guys are going to focus on this part next. But let's just take a look at the rest of the graph. Take a moment to look at the rest of the graph. Tell me something that you notice. Take a look at the rest of the graph. Put your hands down for a second. Just take a minute to look at the rest of the graph. Everyone should be looking at that graph. What is something else that you notice throughout the week? Nazarena? I noticed that on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, there's cool at the bottom. Okay, so you notice that um, for the rest of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it's going to be cool. It says it's going to be cool. So when it's cool... Mm, are you going to be wearing a t-shirt with your arms out if it's cool? No. 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 Okay. What else did we notice, Jenna? Um, I noticed that it's like a pattern, sunny, rainy, windy, sunny, rainy. Okay, so you notice the pattern throughout the week. is sunny, rainy, windy, sunny, rainy. Okay. But what else do we notice from the rest of the week? Not just Monday and Tuesday, but we already said that we said the rest of the week is going to be a little cool. But what else do we notice? Anything else that we notice um, during the week, Maya? I notice like what is the it's sunny but it's cool at the same time. Okay, so even on Thursday, even though it's sunny, guess what? It's still going to be cool. So just how you know when it was kind of like winter time a little bit here or fall, even though you guys go outside and the sun is out, it may be a little cool that day. So you think you might still need like a light jacket that day if it's cool? Yeah. Or a little sweater. So I might need to pack a little sweater, light jacket, a light sweater that day. All right. So I'll go ahead and add a little sweater. Well, oh, I'll say this is my little light jacket. Got my little buttons on it. All right, all right, so now, now that I kind of got an idea of what the weather is going to be like, I can pack my things up. We've already kind of discussed the things that we're going to pack. So on your paper, Maya, on your paper, you are just going to simply write the things you will pack, okay? So since I did Monday and Tuesday, I will go ahead and write um, Monday. I'll go ahead and start it off, okay? 
So this is what I would write based on what I see. Yes, Jenna? Uh-uh, put that, I have it down for the reason. Put it back on the floor. Guys, you can pack anything that you feel that you may need for that weather for the day, okay? But we're going to get into that. All right, Maya, can you turn your chair this way so that way you're able to see the board now? All right, so let's take a look here for our writing part. Everyone put your finger on your word, you. Everyone put their finger on the word, you. That's fine, Maya. Put your word, uh, finger on the word, you. All right, so it says you are taking a trip to Disney World and must pack anything you need to be prepared for the weather. The data in the weather table above shows the forecast of what the weather will be like during your trip. Explain what clothes you will need to pack and why. Remember to think about what the weather would be and its characteristics. So when we talk about the characteristics of the weather, just like how we talked about how it was sunny. If it's going to be sunny and warm, what is that characteristic of that day? What is it going to feel like? What's it going to feel like, Julian? Huh? It's going to be feeling hot that day a little bit. All right, so those are what we're talking about when we talk about characteristics, okay? All right, so if Ms. Johnson is just looking at this gra uh, graph for today, and I have to determine what I need to pack for my trip, I'm going to take a look at my chart of what we have so far. So I'm going to write because you're not writing anything yet because you're going to discuss it with your group. Oh, not I think. So I will start off my sentence saying, I will need to pack A t-shirt in shorts because because remember I just explained why because I could say on Monday on Monday it will be sunny and what? Warm. warm. And warm. It, it, All right, so that's just to start me off, okay? But I still have to, Aiden. Y'all, we should have our hands inside of our desk. Our hands should be on top of our desk. We should be listening and paying attention. All right, so I already woke up what I'm going to wear for just one day. But remember, we have to talk about the rest of the week too, okay? But that's what you're going to do. So I already put, I would need to pack a t-shirt and shorts because on Monday, it will be sunny and warm, okay? So you already discussed with your group or you already kind of gave you some ideas of what you're going to pack. You are in your, in your group. You're going to share your ideas and your thoughts of what you need to pack for the rest of the week, okay? Remember that even though on some days it's sunny, some days it still may be cool, okay? So you have to explain to me what you're going to pack. That's your choice, whatever you want to discuss in your group. And then you have to tell me why you're packing that. Just like I told you, my because on Monday it will, um, will be sunny and warm. That's why I packed a t-shirt um, and a and shorts, okay? So I will go ahead and give you guys a few minutes. I will give you guys about um, 20 minutes to discuss with your group. To discuss with your group and go ahead and start your writing, okay? You may choose to write your own thoughts but you can share your thoughts within your group, okay? So one person said, I decided I want to uh, bring my tights that day, okay? But another person wants to wear their jeans that day. 
they, they can do that, okay? You're just discussing in your group of some things that you will uh, wear, but you're going to be writing, okay? So everyone's writing their own thing. You're just sharing your thoughts in your group. You understand? Any questions? Yes, Stream. Try it. Sound down. Okay. All right. Yes, Evelina. Mine has pencil. All right. You can go ahead and get started. I'm setting my timer for at least 20 minutes. Hey, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. 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 I'm
What else did you bring? What was you trying to write? You don't know? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, how do you think Miss Johnson's supposed to know if you don't know what to write? With that jacket? I will take a I bet again, okay? You can go um, fix and write it. All right, I'll take one more. Um, Allie, go ahead. I will have to read. I will read. Maya, let me try to read. You wrote it. It's gonna be rainy, okay. Okay, good. Thank you guys for take um for listening to my friend Alan. Um, I love how Sarah was giving her attention and was listening to what he had to say. Um, thank you guys for also sharing what you guys um wrote and what you guys will wear. All right, we don't have enough time to share everybody's story, um, everybody's writing, but just remember that we can look at weather to determine um what we can wear for that day.